So today I'll be giving you a brief introduction to a tool that we developed at ILS in uh, one of my festive winter sweaters. Um, T-Rex today is the theme. And like T-Rex, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not the biggest dinosaur in the, in the jungle, but it's a very powerful one. Um, we're talking in this case about a tool used for uh, assisting us with working with fixed bed reactors. Um, at ILS we make a lot of micropilot units, uh, micropilot units in particular for doing things like trickle flow testing of HDS catalysts. Uh, one of the difficulties with these types of units is that you're working with fairly large reactors, typically length scales of 1 to 2 meters, diameters on the uh, order of 1 to 2 inches. Um, the reactors as a result are quite heavy, they're high pressure reactors, typically 1 to 200 bars. And inserting and removing a reactor of this size from a split shell oven is just ergonomically not possible, um, at least not with one person. Um, to make people's lives easier and to make it possible for a single person to do this, um, we developed this tool here. Basically, it looks a bit like a guillotine, um, but instead of chopping people's heads off, we use it for transporting reactors about. Um, it's located on the wheels. You can see it can be moved easily from one point to another. And basically what you have is you have a sled at the top with a raising mechanism here so we can then push this uh, uh, sled uh, into the split shell oven. You then move this into the front. You have then a simple um, uh, hand wheel at the back here where you can then raise the reactor with the sled up off of its uh, mounting position in the split shell oven. And then you roll the entire system back, remove the reactor out and um, bring it here into the, the shop or in most cases into a laboratory where you then want to do the uh, catalyst removal and cleaning of the reactor. You can then uh, easily rotate the reactor here by simply pulling a pin. It's mounted on, a, on an axis here which allows you with, as you see here, just with one hand to be able to, to rotate the reactor. Um, and then you can then easily access both flanges, um, you know, graphite sealed or ring joint sealed uh, flanges here require quite a bit of torque to open and close them. Um, by doing it this way, you can easily open and close these flanges, just leaving it here in this mounted position. Then remove a multi-point thermocouple at the bottom, pull the whole thing out with the fritz, um, uh, blow it clean, scrub it clean with a, with a metal brush afterwards, uh, remount the flanges. Um, we use these VCR or VCO type connectors at the bottom, which are actually the, the ones that are open and closed to actually remove and insert the reactor. Um, when you're done cleaning the reactor, you can then just rotate it back in the horizontal position. We then provide the clients with a, with a simple uh, funnel type filling system, which is a funnel for filling, but it also automatically centers the thermocouple uh, at the top. We found in the past it's very important to have a well-centered thermocouple well, because any deviations in the thermocouple well will actually uh, potentially cause preferential uh, flow of reagents from the top to the bottom. You then get bypassing effects, and it's really one of the one of the important aspects of this unit is that it's not just for helping ergonomics, so the people working in the lab to more easily work with the reactors, but to more reproducibly fill them. Uh, again, if you're doing DPHDS or any reactions at very high conversion levels in trickle flow mode, it's really critical that you reproducibly uh, fill your catalyst with inert, with catalyst, especially if you're looking at things like state beds, and that every reactor is done exactly the same way. Having a tool like this can make your life a lot easier when doing that. Um, we've basically found this out the hard way by ourselves, uh, making some very nice fully automated pilot units, um, and then discovering at the end of the day that one of the steps, one of the critical steps that is, uh, was kind of left out was being able to manip manipulate these reactors easily. So we developed this um, to assist us with that and it's basically become pretty much a standard component, a standard tool that we develop, um, that we deliver with every one of the micropilot units that we now send to our clients and there's quite a lot of them, um, in particular people interested in doing two to say eight parallel reactors to do a rapid evaluation of catalyst for the refinery.